Hey YouTube, Dawson awesome Rider here. This is going to be my unboxing for the Power Rangers Battle for the Grid Physical Copy Collector's Edition from Limited Run Games. You probably are familiar with them. They do a bunch of different games, either that haven't gotten physical releases or haven't gotten physical releases in a while in some form, and they kind of update it for modern games. Uh, you can buy them usually on their own, which you could with this, and it also comes with a collector's edition that has something special. And in this case, it was this cool little Morpher set and a bunch of other little goodies, which we'll get to in a second. Before I forget, when you get it, you do get this exclusive little trading card in here of Jason and Goldar fighting, uh, done in art style from the limited run cards, and that was like just in the box, and I wanted to mention that before I forgot it. But yeah, you can see this is the outside box. This part isn't metal, but you can feel the metal coin under here, which is cool. It's just kind of a, a sleek little modern packaging, and you get kind of a traditional, you know, back of game box there. But yeah, it looks fine. I'm like, oh my god, it's amazing, but you know, it looks sleek, and I, I like the packaging, and I like the kind of feature of that on there. Okay, so now let's open it up here. The only thing I did is I did take off the saran wrap just because that's not really that exciting to watch me take off saran wrap. So let me try, there we go, I don't want to bend that too much. I always have that problem. Okay, so let's open it up here. Oh, that looks really nice. It's kind of like, reminds me of a, like a season set, the way it has it there. So you have the T-Rex coin right there, and it is metal, that's neat. Oh, you got the game right here, I got the PS4 copy since I have the digital Switch one. So you get a traditional case there, you got Draken, Green Ranger, Ranger Slayer, you know, you have on the back there, you have the, basically the game, or the game in the back case. The back of the game case, where my tongue tied there, kind of like, you know, the back of this, but so that's cool there. Set that aside. And then here you have the coin set. You got the rest of the coins there that can go on the morpher, and you got the, the steel book case in there. That's really cool. And then I think it comes with, yep, a poster. The poster is right here. So let's open that up. I'm gonna have to actually zoom out the camera a little bit because it's gonna take up all the space. Here we have the poster all unfolded. You can see it's just a, a picture of Jason and Tommy fighting. I kind of wish it had been something more like the box art with like Draken and stuff, just something a little bit more exciting. Like this is cool enough, but there's like way more cool art that kind of incorporates more of the characters from it that I think would have been cooler, but you know, I always like a good poster. And then the last main thing really to show off is this is the steel bookcase. Like overall it's kind of basic. It's just basically like the outside of the box, which is this kind of grid design with the morpher here. But the main draw here is so you have this morpher here and you have these little metal coins that magnetically stick to it. So you can kind of customize which one you want on there and it can stick to the rest as well. And they actually work as regular magnets. So like if you choose to put like Kimberly on there, you can put all the other ones on your fridge, which is kind of neat. And they look pretty cool. Like they're, they're a little bit light they're not like full-on coins like the legacy ones you know and you can see the little magnets on there but just overall design wise they look pretty accurate and I actually really dig them it's probably my favorite thing about the set because I like the idea of being able to put these on my fridge as an extra and I think that's a cool bit and that's what you can do with the uh, Trenosaurus it's on the front as well and then on the inside there is this art here which I just wanted to show because it's cool it shows like more of a, a general uh, roster and that would have been a cooler poster as well I think having something like this that showed off more of everything but that's pretty much all the basics for this. Overall, it's a neat set. I mean, unless you're a huge fan, I don't think it's a must-have if you've already downloaded the game or purchased it or anything like that. But if not, you know, I think it's kind of a cool set with some neat extras, and I, I kind of always like physical copies, and I'm kind of a sucker for like, uh, collector's editions in general. Anyway, that's about it for this one, guys. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps, and ring that bell so you can get notifications for my videos. Until next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.